Want to know how I made this fast dropper clock? This is a tileable design. Stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see how I did it. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are here today going to talk about various redstone clocks to power droppers. This is a very simple circuit that you've seen me do a lot of times, but there are some new things we can do with some of the new mechanics that have been coming out in the latest versions. So I thought I'd go through some of the old ones and kind of go through some of the new ones. And I have a little test bed here. We're going to start this up right away. A lot of times you'll either have a dropper that goes into a water stream like this, or maybe you have lava so you can dispose of items. But normally, you know, you got this item here, a stack of stuff. You don't want to sit here and go click and have it go out. This just takes too long. And sometimes it goes up there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's a problem. It's not very fast doing it manually, right? So we don't want to do that. So let me grab these items here. And let's go grab this back here. We're going to make the first clock, the most well-known probably circuit in all of Minecraft right here basically we're gonna do this this comparator is looking in here it says hey there's a signal in here if there's something in here at all you put one item the comparator turns on you can see that right okay so basically we take it into the repeater here which basically boosts the signal we're gonna round the corner here and so when there is a signal we're gonna come back out here we're gonna go right into here and we're going to power a block right here okay so now if we put an item in here like the stack it fires one, but it doesn't repeat. That's the problem. It fires it once. We need this side of the circuit to be powered off. And the way we do that is we round this corner here, which is powered at the moment and goes into here. A comparator, when a signal goes into its side, compares the signal from its main side to the side. And it basically, since they're equal, it kind of turns it off. And because it turns it off, then it goes, oh wait, it's got to turn it back on. It goes to slight as a clock. And there we go. You can see it kind of does its own thing. This is a very standard circuit. Everybody knows this. Everybody does this. You can also take out this block and put in a piece of redstone. It does the same thing. It's the same circuit. And uh, this works pretty well. But there is another circuit that we can work on here, which makes it based on this. It makes it go a little bit faster. Okay. I'm going to let that run for a minute here. Uh, we're going to change this up. Okay. This circuit is going to be a little bit faster, but it's very similar. It starts out the same. We have our comparator and we have our repeater. Okay. We're going to turn the corner here. Okay. And off of this corner here, we're going to have a comparator again. And we're going to put redstone going all the way around. You notice it kind of forms a, like a loop, okay? Now, if you look here and you put this in, you can see it's always on. But if you click this little torch here, it makes it go really fast. This is very fast. It's, uh, I'm not sure if it's a zero tick or one tick, but it's a lot faster than the other one. And then you run that signal down and into the, the uh, dropper. And you can see the speed of that compared to the other one. It's just amazing, right? That's pretty darn good. But these are some of the older things that you could have done from like 1819 of Minecraft. What can we do now that's maybe better in many ways? And that's what I'm going to show you next. We're going to start off the same. You can see here we have the dropper and the comparator, but we don't have a repeater. Okay. What you want to do is take out this block right here and we're going to have a sticky piston facing upwards. Okay. Now on this, let's put an observer. You want it so that the Faces, I guess I call this always the faces. I'm not sure what you want to call it. The observing points are facing towards the comparator, okay? Now, to fix this, okay, we are going to basically remove this button here. I'm going to put a block on here. This is a temporary block, and I'm going to put the observer facing the other way. So what you have here is a basic circuit that what happens is when this gets an item into it, it lights a comparator. This comparator actually makes the piston fire, which makes the observer go up. And then, of course, this sees the change, and so does this one. And they see the change back and forth, which causes this to fire automatically. So here we go. I'm going to start this up, and you can see it works. And it's very, very, very fast. Works great. And as soon as this gets emptied out, it'll uh, stop. The piston will go down and turns it off. Should be just any second now. We're almost done. And there it went. That's a very fast uh, loading system or unloading system that you can put in for a, a dropper. And the nice thing about this design is it's tileable. So I could have three or four of these in a row and it wouldn't matter. We can do them independently of each other. Whereas the other two that you remember I just did, I can't really show it because I use the same design here. Um, they do the same thing. All right, guys, that's about all I have for this video. I do want to say though that this has been in version, and we're going to look it up here, 1.15.1 in Java version. I do not know if this all works in Bedrock. Many of it might work. You have to try it on your own. I don't play Bedrock, so I don't know. So if you want to say it works in Bedrock after testing it, you know, put down the comments so others can see it. And uh, I hope you like it. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. 
And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.